Today's tutorial is about using tokens in 17 Hats email templates. Before we begin, it helps to understand what a token is. Take a look at these two images. These are both the same image of one email. On the left, you see the email before it was sent, and on the right, you see the email after it was sent. Tokens are the green sections that you see in the left-hand image. A token simply takes information from your 17 Hats contact or your 17 Hats project and automatically inserts that information into an email or some of our documents. Tokens allow you to create email templates that are truly personalized to each and every lead or client you work with. No more having to go back in to an email template you've created and customize everything based on the contact you're working with. Let's take a look at this contact named Ashley. We're emailing her and you can see right here that we are using the contact first name token. If you look on the right, you can see that that has inserted the name Ashley. Looking back on the left, take a look and see that we're using the project date token. On the right, we know that Ashley's project date is Wednesday, March 16th at 3 p.m. Back over on the left, you can see that we've created a token for pet's name. That will automatically insert the name Bear because that is Ashley's dog's name. If we were working with a client and their information were different, then the 17 Hats tokens would insert that different information. Now let's jump over to 17 Hats and see this in action. Today we're going to work on adding tokens to email templates. Start by navigating in your top right corner to the icon that has two pages. This will take you directly to your documents and email section of account settings. You can see this on the left. We are in account settings under documents and emails. Now click near the top right, the new template button and choose email. This will open a pop-up window and this is where we build our template. Start by naming your email template. This is nothing that a client will see. It's a good idea to use a naming convention so that you can easily find these templates down the road. Now you'll add a subject line. You can insert tokens into your subject line. To do that, just click insert token on the right. First we'll choose contact first name, then we'll add a bit of text, and after that we're going to insert our project name token. We use that to delineate the service that we are providing. Next, we're going to create the body of our email. Again, we're going to start by using our contact first name token. Then we'll begin typing a little bit of information. As you can see here, we've got a little bit of text that we want to add. And now we're going to confirm that we will see our client tomorrow. This is an email template we would want to use one day before a project date is set to start. So we're going to insert the project project date tokens and the project project start time tokens. Tokens begin with the type of information that they are inserting. So for example, these are both project pieces of information. They are the project start date and time. If we were inserting information about a contact, the token name would start with contact. Maybe we want to do a little formatting to keep everything easy to read. Next up, we are going to insert the project location token. That's where we perform our in-home dog grooming services. Next, we'll add a little salutation to say goodbye, and we will reinsert that project start time token to reconfirm the time we'll be at our client's house. Then click save in the bottom. Let's see this template in action. I'm going to start by searching for a contact in the top right of my screen. My contact's name is Emma Parker. This will pull up Emma's project, and you can see that Emma's project date is the 24th of March, and her project starts at 8 a.m. when we have her location stored. This is again for an in-home dog grooming project. Now I just need to click Create New, and then I'm going to choose Email. On the right, start by searching for your email template. We know this is our dog grooming confirmation email. I choose that. You can see that all of our tokens have populated. I choose Send Now. Let's jump over and take a look at this email that we sent to Emma. 
as you can see, Emma's first name has populated into the subject line. We have our project title in the subject title. We're using our project start date and start time, and we've included our project location. Using tokens in your email templates in 17 Hats really allows for personalization for on your client's point of view, but not a lot of work on your end. Let's look at another contact. We're going to look at Clint Michaels. You can see that his project is going to take place on March 27th. Let's pretend that today is March 26th and we need to send that confirmation email to him. We'll select our confirmation email template and no other personalization is needed. Once we hit send now and then open up that email that was sent, you can see that 17 Hats has taken care of personalizing everything for you. Clint's name is in here, the date and time is in the email, and we've even included his address. Tokens in 17 Hats really allow you to completely personalize your emails without any additional work on your part. They are a true time saver.